I am going to go into, I have talked about the future batteries, I have talked about alternate various kind of lithium ion battery. Let me get into the cells of lithium ion battery cells and what does it consist of? I have talked about every cell has some container. The container of three kinds, cylindrical, pouch and prismatic, the three kinds of container. It is either a cylindrical cells, I think I should have pictures on there. I will get into the picture in a short while. C cylindrical like a pencil cylindrical, pouch and prismatic, we will get into that. That is a container, it always has cathode and anode. Hmm? So, anode typically tends to be graphite or graphite with silica, cathode is the one which is NMC or NCA. There is a separator between a cathode and anode and there is a electrolyte in between cathode and anode and the one that is used is lithium phosphorus fluoride. That is the most commonly used. There are few other alternatives, but nothing has worked as well. Then there are terminals which will and the terminals has to be very well designed because they will take in the current or take out the current. Cylindrical cells. The most common cylindrical cells which are used is called 18650. 18650 basically because it is 18 millimeter in diameter and 65 centimeter millimeter in length, 6.5 centimeter. It is like your pencil torch cells. Solid battery, body without terminals with a capacity of, it started with 2.2 ampere hour and it has gone to 3.4 and 3.8 ampere hour today. Hmm? Today 3.5 ampere hour is common, 3.8 is also available. The battery voltage, nominal battery voltage of uses is 3.7 volts. So, 3.7 volt multiplied by 3.5 ampere hour, that is the capacity, it is a 10 watt hour approximately, 10, 11 watt hour. It is not a very large capacity, each cell is 11 watt hour. So, if I want a 1000, uh, 1 kilowatt hour, I need a close to 800, 900 cells. If I want 100 kilowatt hour, I need 100,000 individual cells. And remember, I will again talk about a cell fails, battery significantly get impacted. We will come to the failure later on. There is another called 26650, which is 26 millimeter in diameter and 650 millimeter in length. Is that correct? So, sorry, six, uh, 65 millimeter in length, but 26 millimeter in diameter. Solid body, last threaded terminals near the end. This was for a short time for tools, etcetera, it was used, hand tools. And then Tesla came at 21,700. It is a 21 mm diameter. This is may I do not know this 70 is the really the um, uh, length, but approximately that. This will be discussed later again. Cylindrical cells have higher energy density than pouches prismatic when it is introduced. So, the first 300 watt hour per kg cells will always be cylindrical cells, but soon pouch and prismatic will pick up. Hmm? But number of cycles are less. You, all you need is a spot welding to make a pack, so very easy to make a pack. So, this is what the pictures are. This is the cylindrical cell, this is the pouch cell and this is prismatic cell. The pouch cell is soft, flat body, soft, you can in fact twist it if you want, of course it will destroy the battery. It has a very high packing efficiency, even though density is less, in the pack you can make it much, much better, 90 to 95 percent. It is one out the top of another. All that you then do have to do is conductors which you put it on the side. So, the, um, uh, um, the conductors are bus bars and then of course, cooling you have to worry about because the heat is also 
dissipated from the site, you have to worry about the cooling. You have 24H, 44H, 50H and nowadays even 60H or 70H. Normally, you do not change the size of the uh, uh, remains the same and you keep on increasing the energy density because uh, as the energy. Uh, so, the AH capacity increases, capacity increases. I have seen now 60 AH and 65 AH and 70 AH you will soon see. It used to cost higher than cylindrical cells, but not necessarily. In larger vehicles, you invariably use pouch cells. Then there is a prismatic cells. This is a semi hard plastic case with large threaded terminals. Cells are 7 AH, 40, 15 AH, 24 AH, 30, 40, 44, 50, and the new ones are 60, 65. A lot of them are used in two wheelers and three wheelers, can be spot welded, laser welded or ultrasonic welded. Even pouch cells has to be laser welded or ultrasonic welded. Spot welding is somewhat difficult. Hmm? So, this is the three kinds of cells that are available. There are pluses and minuses, it depends on the manufacturer, do not can't say that this is what you should use always. Lithium ion battery, the NMC battery that we will talk about is 2.7 volts when it is a 0 percent SOC and 4.3 volts when SOC is 100 percent. And typically you operate between 3.1, 3.2 volt, sometimes 3.3 volt to 4.15 volt and the nominal voltage is taken as 3.7 this is the battery cell capacity. Hmm. So, this is a cell voltage. So, this is the voltage multiplied by H will give you the capacity in terms of watt hour. So, let us look at the cell. So, the cells are designed by taking material and rolling it, rolling one layer after another. So, typically you have this um, positive electrode, negative electrode, uh, you have this negative tab, you have the separator in between, uh, the positive tab is sitting here, there is a gas release vent because there is a gas filled in, something goes wrong, gas is released, there is a positive cap, PTC device, gasket, casing, insulation. 18650 as I told you the most common one is 3.4 AH though 3.9 AH is also likely to come 18650 cell. 18650 volume of 16 centimeter cube with a capacity of around 11 watt hour. So, you can just imagine this is what it is. 21700 has higher 24 centimeter cube volume with a capacity of 6 AH. This is going to 6 AH. So, it is doubling the capacity with 50 percent additional volume. That is the one which has given at edge 21700. It doubles the capacity with only 50 percent additional volume. So, capacity is 6 AH instead of 3 AH. The size is only hmm, uh, uh, doubles 24 centimeter cube as opposed to 16 meter. So, size is only one and a half times. Okay. This is the attraction. Okay. 26650 is 26 mm um, uh, diameter, uh, not as popular as 18650. Again, you can get more details in this battery university. Prismatic cell. This was introduced in 1990s and prismatic is the one which is very thin. Um, how thin? Um, much thinner than a cell phone, about a third, no way half, almost half as much. 
So, and since it is stacked on top of each other, it improves the cell utilization, space utilization, space utilization. So, volume can be low of the pack. Uh, whereas, if you look at cylindrical cells, between cylindrical there will always be gaps, you cannot do much. But it is far more expensive to manufacture, you cannot just keep rolling and creating cells, you have to keep on folding one after another, keep folding uh, and uh, thermal management is less efficient, because while the heat is generated all over, you have can take out hell heat only from the sides, because it is going to touch the next one and next one, one on top of it. The other problem in this prismatic cell that as you charge fast particularly, it tend to swell. Now, the swelling can be very problematic. If it swells beyond a certain point, that life cycle gets horrible, finished. So, you have to compress it. It has a swelling tendency inside, you have to compress it. You put extra pressure, life cycle is gone straight away. You put less pressure, it will swell in and life cycle goes on, it gets bad. So, you have to really design it with the right pressure, very right pressure. Sorry, that is that side I am mixing up cylindrical cell and power cell. The power cell has uh, similar issues. Conductive foil taps welded to the electrodes and brought outside in a fully sealed manner makes most efficient, even more efficient than um, uh, prismatic cell. <laughs> this is the one where pressure is very important. Not the other one is aluminum case, so pressure is not that important. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, but still, yeah, plastic also not it's not as important. The pressure is not as important. Somewhat important, but more important in power cells. Let me come to some very interesting work, which you will not find it anywhere. You have a battery pack and cell for whatever reason has shot it. For the pack, if a cell has shorted, and cells are connected in series, the voltage will reduce. Hmm? And if I have to drive a motor, which demands a certain voltage, my voltage has gone down, cells are, pack is no longer usable. So, pack is no longer individual usable if one cell gets shorted. That is a big, big problem. So, you do not want cell for failure as shortage. What if the cell is open? It reduces the overall capacity and this will be discussed in detail later on. Huh? It depends on the way number of parallel cells are there that one string will go and cells is open. Cylindrical cells have lower capacity and open hurts less when open as compared to the larger capacity pouch and prismatic cells. Since the lower capacity or open, if it is short, you have a problem, but it is open, it reduces capacity. Since it has a uh, lower capacity, that much capacity only goes down. So, if it is a let us say 3, uh, 10 a watt hour capacity, so uh, uh, or 3 h into whatever the voltage is, that 3 h will go down. It has many parallel cells. The other advantage is cylindrical cells are built in cell safety feature, which ensures a cell fails in open, it does not fail very often in short. Hmm? There is a something called positive temperature coefficient layer, offers large resistance on heating due to huge current. So, normally if it is getting heated because something is going wrong, hmm? so it kind of prevents it and there is a current interrupt device which will open up the at that time when there is a when pressure builds up inside the cell. So, there is a there, this makes it better to 
some are prismatic and pouch cells capacity cells are can be 50 h or 185 watt hour or even more I will say 200 watt hour much larger than 18650 which is 11 watt hour 21700 will double the capacity 22 watt hour, but still 22 watt hour versus 200 watt hour. So, if you want to make a large pack go for pouch cell or prismatic small pack you can look at cylindrical cell hmm, for smaller battery pack and for large pack it is four wheelers truck buses use the uh, prismatic and pouch. But remember Tesla has defied this and it has gone for 21700 22 watt hour cell uh, and it has made very large pack. Hmm. So, they all this should be taken up as a qualified statement. I have given another assignment again simple true and false prismatic lithium ion cells come in standard shape and size. Does it come in standard shape and size? Not always. Cylindrical ones come in standard. 21700 cell has 70 mm diameter height of 20, that is right. Prismatic ones can come different. Hmm. So, there are also some fill in blanks I am giving you and you have to do this homework. I think I will end today. And tomorrow, get into something that Nanda knows better than I do. State of health, state of charge estimation and self discharge. Okay. We will do this tomorrow. Then we will come what makes a battery pack. In fact, I am getting things ready for caution battery pack design electrical, building up serial parallel, electrical design failures in battery pack and then I will come to computation of effective cost of battery. This is important, very interesting. This is what you can compare things and somewhat involved. for operational cost. And after having done that and seeing the impact of this, it is a very important something that I will say I am the author of this work and then what does it take, what kind of charging do you do, pretty much I look at the charging and that is it. Chapter on battery will be over. Thank you.